on Daily Planet. This e-bike goes crazy fast, it's on skis, and best of all, its power supply is practically free. Remote-controlled flying has never looked so good, especially when you can see on the ground what the plane sees in the sky. It puts you in the pilot seat. Plus, Alan's behind the wheel of a submarine. What could possibly go wrong? Well, plenty, as it turns out. Fire, 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 fire in the motor room. What do I do, Mark? And we'll check out a man who says he can cook shrimp with his body. We've got science with a sizzle. This is Daily Planet. <laughs> We love Daily Planet! Hi, welcome to Daily Planet. I'm Dan Riskin. And I'm Zai Tong. We have an exceptional show for you today. It is intoxicating, I would say, and that is because we have the world's strongest beer, a beer that is 65% alcohol. That's right, the world's strongest beer is you on the show today. You didn't have any, why are you spinning? <laughs> I haven't had a drunk to drink. But we're gonna kick things off first with a road warrior who decided to invent an electric tricycle he can drive in the snow. The only sound you'll hear on this road is the wind. This inventor has the need for speed. This was a mountain bike, and I made it into an electric bike. This is my electric motorcycles. It currently goes from 0 to 60 in about 9 seconds. When I'm done with it, it will go from 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. And I will do that with 300 of these cells. These cells are so powerful that they can bring a motorcycle from 0 to 60 in less than 1 second. His nickname is Dr. Bass, and he's inspired. I'm uh, like uh, their uh, document brown for the Back to the Future. <laughs> Stefan Melanson, known as Dr. Bass from a previous life in music, would make everything electric if he could. And the things he has, he wants to enjoy all year round. It's so comfortable, just like a uh, snowmobile, except that uh, you don't have any uh, emission, any gas emission, and it just hear the noise of the ski, so it's perfect. So let's go to another spot where there's snow to have some fun. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of this because this is unique. This is a trike that normally goes during the summer and have ski on it. So there's no difference between the seasons. And this is, I think, probably the first electric trike with ski that you will have seen. I invented that because I wanted to be able to practice this great uh, uh, hobby with electric bikes, but during the winter. And this is uh, probably my favorite build. Before he heads out in the snow, everything has to be just right. What I'm doing now is I will uh, top off the charge of this battery. It's important to have the cells all balanced because uh, you will always have uh, the energy of the weakest uh, cells group inside. So it's a string and you want to have a strong string, so yeah, you want to have all the cells at the same voltage. From the nuts and bolts to all the circuitry, Dr. Bass designed and built it all. We have uh, the battery in the front to have a great uh, weight uh, distribution. So this is a lithium phosphate battery. It's quite powerful, can recharge in less than one hour, and uh, it's also good at low temperature. I completely uh, build each of the single cells that are inside, and then I have the little monitor here. This monitor is allowing me to know the voltage that I have on the battery, the speed, the amp power, the energy. It's a kind of an energy management system, okay? And then I have a cruise control. Uh, during the winter, the summer, I can set the speed that I want and then feel comfortable for a great ride. After that, I have also the controller here. This is the kind of uh, brain of uh, all the electronics because it will manage the power on the battery to the brushless motor. So this is a three-phase motor. And if you follow the connectors here, I have the motor. So this is a hub motor. This is quite powerful motor. I also installed uh, pretty great tires on the back to be able to uh, have a great grip on the snow and some screw on it. So uh, this is a complete system and uh, it's working well. Don't be fooled by the look. This trike is powerful. This motor can actually tow a school bus. And this is kind of motor already did that. If I just install a cable here and install your car here, 
it will pull it. It's like 100 pounds, 100 to 150 pounds of torque just with the, this, wheel size, this size of wheel. So this is uh, pretty powerful and I have to be careful with that. Of course, it's the strong and silent type. You can hear that? <laughs> it's sound, it's pollution. And with this one, it's quiet, silence. What's even more powerful is the secret ingredient behind all of these inventions. Dr. Bass fuels his habit by rescuing and resuscitating dead batteries. I need to have a battery that are easy to find and that cost nearly nothing. This battery is um, made of different component and people will usually think that it's one battery. When I open this battery, what I find is this. This is 10 exact same cells. In this, there's only one or two that is defective. So this means that I have probably nine or eight good cells inside. This is what is uh, interesting me. When you have only one cells that is not working, the whole battery pack will not work. And I have a tool that I invented here that allow me to test really fast these kind of cells. To know which I will keep for my electric bike. By rescuing recycled batteries, Dr. Bass has an endless supply of power to feed all of his inventions, and even things he didn't create. Believe it or not, at minus 20, with these four, I already jump-started my car. When my inventions work, it's like I'm uh, setting some parameters, trying a new battery, putting everything together, going outdoor, testing, and I have awesome acceleration and acceleration doesn't stop and I say oh man oh this is this is fantastic I can go to the drag race today I will test it I want I want to test everything because the satisfaction to have all this power onto a small electric bike like that Tor power I like that <laughs> I cannot live without this kind of project fortunately there's no end in sight for this inventor in 10 years, I will probably still be as crazy as I am, <laughs> as Mad Max as I am. I probably build batteries too, but uh, maybe it will be with electric car and still have electric bike because I like electric bike. <laughs>